Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really awesome, and I like to call it the Pipe Armory. Now what this essentially allows you to do, is jump down a tube and get all of the items that you require to engage in some PvP action, and that involves getting the armor equipped for you, so if you're a lazy bugger like myself, you don't have to get dressed. That is great, that's like the best feeling ever. So I've set up a couple of nasties down below, so let's just hop into the tube and we should be ready for action. There we go, we've got our armor on, we've got our swords and all the other bits and bobs and... What? Oh, what have I been smoking this morning? Now I'm sure there's plenty of questions rattling about in your brain after that little introduction. Unfortunately, I'm not going to run you through the upside down mobs thing because I'm sure by the time this video is uploaded, hundreds of people have done it already. So instead, I'm going to explain to you how the redstone works because, let's face it, that's what I'm good at. And here it is. This is your armory pipe. Now around this point, generally in my videos, you'd have a very nice smooth cinematic of me floating around the bits and bobs showing off what they do. But unfortunately, because I'm playing in 1.6, we don't have that luxury as of yet. So I'm just going to have to do some ghetto stuff around here. Oh yeah, look at that. Now as you can see, this is actually a fairly complicated mechanism. It may look like a bit of a mess from any bystanders here. So I've split it up into various different elements that perform different tasks so you can get a rough understanding understanding of what's going on. Now this element here is obviously the most simple, I like to call it the velocity tube, and what it does is accelerates you up to the correct speed so that this armor equipper will fire at the right time, because obviously this needs a very certain velocity for it to work. You need to pass that tripwire and then those dispensers at the exact right time, otherwise this won't work. Now these other two parts are the various item dispensers. This one dispenses 12 different items that you can have, so that could be your swords, your bows, your books, your enchanting tables, your diamonds, pretty much whatever you want. And then this over here is your multi-item dispenser. It will dispense 10 of two different items. So that could be ender pearls and arrows, or snowballs and pumpkins, I don't know. You can really customise whatever you put in them, it's not up to me, is it? Now one thing that's worth noting before I show you how to build it, is that for this to work properly you have to jump into the tube. You can't just fall down there, for some reason Minecraft doesn't like that. You actively have to jump and then the armor will be equipped and you'll get all your items as was planned. But now that we've got through all that, I guess there's only one thing left to do and that is to crack on with this tutorial, so let's go. So you want to get things started with a 5x5 five five area, now I'm going to be going from the bottom up just because that makes life a lot simpler, so we're going to be starting off with our multiple item dispenser. Now that will dispense multiples of one type of item, so that's your ender pearls and your arrows. So you want to get things started by placing a couple of dispensers around like this, and then two blocks, one on either end with a redstone dot on top, and then redstone torches here, here, and uh, here, and here. Now you can see in this design over here I have got some extra storage, this didn't really work as well as planned, it fills up the bottom dispenser but not the top one so I'm not going to be including it in the tutorial, however if you do want to see how it works then you're more than welcome to download the world and you can check it out for yourself, but anyway we'll get back to this one now. So with this shape here you just want to take blocks out like this from this dispenser, go along like that and leave that block there, then take a block up like this and place a sticky piston facing downwards and you can take out that block and that torch, that's not necessary. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side, so you just want to take out the blocks there and then block up like this and a sticky piston facing downwards and then take out that block and you should end up with something a little bit like this, that's that bottom part done. Now we're moving on to the next part of the build, which I've showcased with this little glass pane floor here. So that should give you a clear inclination that this is the next bit. Now the first thing that you want to do is make a three high tower of dispensers on either side. So you just want to take out this bottom hit block here. It should be level with this bottom piston. And you just want to place three dispensers going upwards all the way around. Now they're quite hard to place. You have to shift click to do it, but there we go. That is those done. Just to make sure that these are in the right place, you should have one block difference between your bottom dispensers and these dispensers here. Just make sure of that. Now starting on a side with a piston, you just want to place a block up like this, redstone dust there, and then a block up like that and a block up down the bottom. Place redstone dust here and place a repeater running into that block so that will get powered. Should power all three of your dispensers. And then you just want to place a block like this, redstone dust, 
a block up like that and then repeat the same process. So that is repeater running into a block on its face and then a block down below with redstone dust there. You just got to repeat that on the other side. I'll run you through it quickly. So that is redstone dust up there and then a block with a repeater running into a block and then another block down the bottom with redstone dust and then just continue that onwards. That is repeater here and a couple more blocks like this and then another block down there, redstone dust and your repeater running into that block. So that's that bit done. Now we're moving on to our armor equipper. I'm not going to do another glass plane floor simply because there isn't enough space for it. So you just want to get things started by placing three blocks along like this and redstone dust on top and then another block up like that with your redstone there and you just want to place a dispenser here and dispensers all the way around. You might as well do that right now. So that is dispensers going right the way around your tube. Once again, quite difficult to place because you've got to shift click. But there we go, that should do it. And then on this side, you just want to repeat the same thing. So that is block up like this three blocks along and then a block up there with redstone dust running across the top. Now for this next bit you just want to place three blocks along like this and run your redstone across and then three blocks along on the other side and run your redstone across. Generally speaking this is the same from all angles because it is a repeating pattern. Now up here you just want to place a block and a block on this side and place tripwire hooks on either side and a piece of string like that that will go across them and that should power all the redstone when you go over it. But don't do that yet because if you put any items in then they will be fired out. Damn it. So now you just have to fill in your tube, you just want to place a couple of transparent blocks down here, that is so this tripwire doesn't get broken, and I'll do that all the way around just to keep the theme going, but then you just want to continue this up like this, all the way up to this level right here. And now we're going to start work on our velocity tube. Now as I said in the beginning, the velocity tube is definitely the easiest thing to build. You just want to go four blocks up like this and carry that out around the edges. There we go. That is it done. You have successfully completed your armory pipe. Now if you haven't already, you just have to fill in all of those dispensers with items. Trust me, it's the most boring part. But unfortunately that is all I've got time for for today. I really like this idea, it would work very nicely in custom maps, mini games or even survival if you're feeling very extravagant. But like I said, this is the end. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching guys, this has been Mumbo and I'm out. I'll see you later.